Well, cold, clear, and quiet on this Kwanzaa, and so we're taking the good opportunity to talk about some of the conditions we have seen and the conditions we could see. In fact, we're talking about seeing these post-frontal conditions right now, seeing a good 30-degree temperature spread. That's how strong this high pressure is. That's how cold this air is. Now, it's going to continue to sit with us over the next couple weeks, or at least not the next week, while we still see this storm wait to pick up a lot of momentum from the upper-level pattern. Again, we drop down below that freezing point, down into those upper 20s, up into the 60s, good 30 degree spread. We're already cooling off and we're going to continue to see some of these freezing temperatures and a lot of people, if you stopped around town and talked to me, mum's the word, but we're really looking at that ice storm if one does push through. Pretty good setup when we're talking about the potential for ice storms. Right now, 58 in San Angelo, everybody else joining us in a mixture of 50s and 60s. Seeing a good idea of some of this uniform cooling. Again, we're only a couple degrees off from each other. Seeing some of those colder temperatures up near Sterling City. Warmer temperatures down in Junction. That's about six degrees across the entire Concho Valley. That's pretty uniform when we're talking about making our way into the evening when we see some of those colder temperatures and those humidity values definitely pick up as we start to make our way overnight to that maximum cooling. Right now, we're seeing some of those colder temperatures. Sterling City, 20 degree dew point with 25% relative humidity. We're going to have to see some of those frostier conditions if we're going to see any moisture. And if you woke up early enough this morning, definitely saw a good coating of frost on about every vehicle and a lot of those plants across the entire region, letting you know it's a good time to go ahead and pull in the plants. It's going to be here for a while. We're watching the circulation of moisture continue to push off the Great Lakes. In fact, what's going to happen is this storm is going to pull out of that moisture up from Florida. It's going to wrap all the way around the East Coast, push back across the Great Lakes and keep dumping more snow on Nebraska or watching another storm make its way in off the West Coast. That could be the one that pushes through about New Year's. Again, we're watching this upper level pattern just circulating the storm as we watch a lot of these low pressure systems fight around this ridging in the Rocky Mountains, make its way down the great uh, the greater plains and then reconnects again with another system making its way over the Sierra Madres. Could be a bigger storm. By about New Year's, we're looking at some pretty inclement weather. These two systems kind of come together, really cause their own set of problems for the Gulf Coast region here in the Concho Valley. We could see some fast moving storms as a result of it with a little bit of rain. Right now, the radar showing us the storm as it continues to circulate. It's really just been pounding areas of St. Louis where we look at a good prefrontal system make its way across the Rocky Mountains, fighting with them, but right behind it, that's one heck of a storm. And then again, we're seeing a lot of this subtropical jet action make its way up into the Concho Valley. That's where we're fighting with a lot of that cold, moist air and a lot of that warm, cold, dry air from the north. Again, we're going to continue to see rounds of snow dumping across the Rocky Mountains of Nebraska under a blizzard, already seeing about a good eight inches of snow more on the way as St. Louis and areas of Iowa continue to deal with another storm as it continues to circulate. Watching that cold air push off to the east Thursday, looking like a pretty cold day as we start to see a few hints of that storm making its way in off the west coast. So again tonight, getting down below that freezing point. Again, it's going to be a cold one. Then tomorrow, struggling to get up there into those 50s under those warmer conditions. And that's where it's going to continue to take us with those clear skies well into New Year's while we still hold on to those 50s. By about the weekend, we could see that front push through, warm us back into the 60s. But by that beginning of 2024, we're already back into the 50s dealing with those freezing temperatures. Stay tuned with more of the break. You're watching KSAN News at 5.